Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Ascended. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault, and we're going to talk about taking down murder turkeys today for the turkey trial event. So let's cue up the music, and we'll get right to it. Alright, there's one of the little buggers right here. These guys pack a punch and they have a lot of health. Let's go ahead and check this one out real quick and I'll show you. Where is he? They, yeah, they get lost too easily. Alright. Um, hello? I'll tell you, this long grass in the game has really made things challenging. Where are, there you are. Yeah, health pull of 25,000 for that guy. So, that's a lot of health to deal out, or to take down. Um, my recommendation is a creature that will use bleed damage. And the Carno is just such a creature. He's probably the easiest of uh, the bleeding creatures to get. Fairly early game. As far as level requirements for his saddle, let's go ahead and take a look at that. I believe it's in the 40s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, level 46, so you can get one fairly easy, fairly early game. This one is bred from two, uh, two other ones, and um, yeah. So one important thing you want to do beforehand is get rid of potential aggressive creatures in the area. Raptors, Dillos, and the like. Because those guys are all going to join in on the fun when you decide to fight this turkey. And then you're going to want to wait until your health, your uh, stamina's up a little bit because it's going to take a lot of hits. When you're ready, start fighting. We're going to keep backing up as he heads towards us and looking down at him. As you can see, we're dealing 81 damage. Those are critical shots. When we get to 27, those are non-critical shots. We get backed up into something, just turn around. Oh god, we got a Therizino. That's not good. Yeah. They're kind of like Alphas. Everything wants to join in on the fun. Alright, well at least the Therry's down. And you basically use this method until you get the little guy down. So they will run from time to time. Kind of keep an eye on them. Keep the bleed going. They do heal fairly rapidly. So if you don't keep that bleed going, the damage you deal is just going to be washed away from the heal. Another die more running in. We're going to make a cut until he's about down. I recommend fighting these guys on the beach, not in the woods, because as you can see, it gets real hard to uh, see where they are exactly, especially if they run. So yeah, like I said, we're going to make a cut and we'll come back. And that was it. We got him down, finally. So it took all in all from the start of this video till now about four minutes to kill this guy, which really pretty efficient. Uh, you got to check, make sure you got the wishbones. If not, they're going to be in a bag on the ground. They leave between, oh, that's five. I think that's the most I've gotten. I've gotten three and I've gotten four a multitude of times. Uh, first time getting five wishbones. Where can you find these guys? They're pretty much all over the map. There's my base over there. We've seen where I've got this place located before. So we're right across the way, um, up on the cliff. A lot of times I will find them on the beaches around me. Go ahead and take care of this nuisance real quick. There we go. But yeah, I find them on the beach quite a bit. I'd rather face them on the beach, but I had killed so many that there weren't any more there for the time being, so I had to come up into the woods to go ahead and locate one. If you're having trouble finding them on the beach, run down the beach and kill everything that you come across. Every dodo, every baby dodo, all of it. And eventually... 
they'll start spawning in. Now the Karno I'm using is an imprinted Karno. He was bred. I pumped him up to just uh, just about 5,000 health. As you can see, we went down a significant amount of health fighting that guy. A lot of the damage was because we got hung up by, you know, the Therizina and stuff like that. So, you know, that didn't help any. I mean, but for the most part, these guys still knock off 1,000 health. Sometimes a little bit more, a little bit less. When I fight them on the beach, I have a lot more control of the battle. And I don't really have to worry so much about my health. I might drop a 1,000 and that's about it. So yeah, we're gonna go back to the smithy now and take our rewards. And we're gonna get ourselves something cool. All right, so we're at the smithy. We've got 10 of these guys and we go right into the holiday folder here and you'll see things will light up that you can actually make. <clears throat> there are a variety of costs involved for different things. Um, your emotes are gonna cost 30 a pop. Your cool little uh, turkey fryer and your cornucopia are 35 a pop. Hats vary 10. Uh, five for the swim tops and the swim shorts are five. So we could actually get a swimsuit here. Five for the shirts. Most of that stuff's pretty cheap. The turkey costume's the most expensive at 50. And then, of course, you got chibis. And as you can see, I've already cashed in some for chibis before. Let me go ahead and get into my thing here. So I've got my little my little jellyfish chibi and he's level two already and growing so that's kind of cool yep but that's it man you use a carno again very easy to get simple knockout team throw some prime meat in him if you can get two get two make a baby and go ahead and imprint on one it will make your life a little bit easier but it can still be done without an imprinted one if you found this helpful at all please leave a like on it down below don't forget to subscribe to the channel and to ring that bell for notifications. I thank you for joining me. As always, I'm Captain Beefy. This is the Game Vault. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace.